That makes for an exciting time. If they lose it, it will take eight tubs of fish to make up the price tag, not to mention the lost time. Supposed to be some fish around here, so. Should be good for six. They're trying a new spot, working off a rumor of good fishing. Just, it looks all right. Talking to a friend of mine, he said there's a bit of fish around this area, so I might go up on the snowmobile yeah. and have a look. Okay, we're gonna warm up. See if we can get the nets in here without hitting a bunch of rough ice and having a long day. Smooth ice. As smooth as you can tell what's under the snow, but you know, it should be okay. It's the trouble of standing late with lots of snow and winter with a lot of rough ice. You, you can get into a, a lot of trouble. It can make your day a lot longer. If you can see like chunks of ice like that, there's gonna be trouble going through that kind of ice there. And there's my first in command, or my boss. Now that Gene thinks he has the spot, Candace brings the bomber over to start drilling. Guys, it like she owns it. She paid for it, so what the hell, right? And I need the torch. Froze on there. No, it's okay, it's okay. Gotta heat it up first. Gene sends the electric jigger down into the hole. The ice is so thick they can't see where the electric jigger is. Candace uses the knocker on the jigger so Gene can try and hear its location under the ice. Right on. I think it's there. It sounds like it's coming from here. Yeah. Now, the auger won't start. What's with that now? Well, Jiffy's not my friend today. Gee. No. Sure. My hands are cold. Never used this auger in cold weather before. Oh yeah. There we go. Really? Door. Can't have door open all the time. Augers, really cold. I'm kind of old school. I get grumpy. I irritate it a lot. I gotta put some wood in the bottom of this stove. My hands are freezing. See, my hands are cold. I don't know why. It's, it's cold out. Get cold hands. You gotta put more wood on. The cold aggravates the arthritis in Jean's hands. I have arthritis in my hands and feet. Uh, some days that you're just dreading going out. They press on, setting new nets in spots where they hope to find a bigger catch. Hopefully it goes as smooth as this for the rest of the, the morning. But the odd time it'll hit a chunk of ice or something and it'll take off, take right off. I lost one so far in my, in my time, so. Compared to jiggers made of cedar and metal, the electric one is made of plastic with a magnet that starts the electric motor. Gene searches for the jigger, tracing it only by sound. He's having trouble. Hey, took off. What the hell? I don't know. 
I thought it was minus 30 some, but I can't really tell till I get outside. Chris has some concerns about his new lifting caboose operating in the bitter cold. This is going to be a test to see if we can get it started. Hopefully it's a good day. Yeah. <laughs> this reminds you how nice it is in the summer, that's all. On arrival, it's anyone's guess what the severe cold has done to the lifting caboose on the ice. Okay, wait a minute. We'll put the choke on, right? Let's see if it'll turn over. No recoil. Stone dead. Is the battery inside? The generator is frozen solid. Go get the toolbox inside there. You're gonna find that people who persevere the cold and ignore it and more or less relish in it, who take it as a challenge. Why would this thing be dead? Will be the ones who normally rise above in the long season, which is the winter season. You're gonna find those people who are not gonna make an excuse for the cold. You'll go. Come on. One more try, Joel. Who aren't gonna make an excuse for the equipment, but are gonna fight through it. She'll go. Let it run. I want that auger closer so I can drill a hole. The wind chill 41 today. 41. Supposed to be, and then later on tonight, 71. 71. Click. Wind. Said it's a frosty one. With the generator finally running, the crew can now hook the caboose up to the bombardier. Watch yourself, Devin. Devin, just watch out. Unhook it, unhook it. If it takes more than 10 seconds for 10 guys, someone stand over there and guide me, because I can't see from here what's going on. Straight, straight back. Come on, you guys. You got like 10 feet, so. Oh, try the other side, Devin. Okay. That's cool. Okay, here we go. As long as that rope on top is moving. Whoa, 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 whoa. I need some slack. You need slack to tie it up. Okay, that's, it's good like that. It'll stay. Let's go. Ready to go, guys. With an extreme wind chill dropping the temperature down to go. minus 34, the guys quicken yeah. their pace. Okay, here we go. Oh, look at this load. Here you are. Let's go, let's go, get him out, get him out. Didn't know if that generator was gonna start or not. Wow, we got a system. <laughs> throw those outside, Devin. Keep coming. Actually starting to sweat. Oh. Oh no. The bitter cold finally takes its toll and the generator stops working. You can take it all. Pretty much, but I put some in the... So it didn't fill it. What do we do now? Joel adds more fuel to the generator, but it's using way too much. Oh, look at that. It's gonna take it all. Pretty much, but I put some in the... So it didn't fill it. What do we do now? Nothing seems to like minus 40. It's busted. Another issue with the generator. The extreme cold causes a break in the gas line, threatening to shut the lifting caboose down. The guys must now work faster before the day comes to a grinding halt. It's a T where the primer fits in. It's a plastic fitting, it's knocked off. We just keep doing things and keep breaking and keep fixing and until there's nothing left to break, I guess. And then everything breaks all over again. Chris calls the builder of the lifting caboose. That would be really nice. I'll pay him whatever. I don't give a crap. Money's no object right now. Hey, we're going to drag it in. Let's go. The race is now on to lift their nets before the generator runs out of gas and the caboose stops completely. Are you going warp speed? The day I let my dad see Star Wars. Are we, are we, are we going warp speed now? No, Dad, I'm not going warp speed. Come on, pick out faster over there. Devin's job is to work down at the hole to help guide the net while picking fish. Make the fish go away. I want to go home. Tubs are filling up fast and furious. Oh, look at this. Who's tying these things? The frigid temperatures outside mix with the warm air in the caboose, creating fog where Devin is working. Which of the thousand knots that Pete knows should he use right now? Oh, 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 look at that, there's a pickle there. 
He got away. Good, let him go. He deserves it to be smart enough. Oh, you guys talking about everything under the sun. You let a perfectly good pickerel get away. Luckily, they get all their nets lifted before the generator runs out of gas. They wind up with more fish than tubs to put them in.